Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of... Uh... Shay, you need to snap out of it. What? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. My head. Just help me out of this sand, will you? Computer. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. How did you shrink your head? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... Mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or... Well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. So, if we weren't actually in space, where were we? Hey, it's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Operation Dandelion. Are you... Are you... Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassa Nostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean that... Nothing. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um... Yeah, why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog... Chathra. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination, as long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. 
Have you seen Maruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows, I might have some other family there. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that Mike Cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. Huh? <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, 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 I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue. Or capture. Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever? Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it uh, c came to life and flew away. Probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh, no. Is that... Is that me from the past? No, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here, too. And now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. So what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. Oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards at a glance. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean... Oh, ship! It's really gone. It's gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go?
Ugh, what's that smell? Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. Can't you just do a taste test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison in there. What? Well, it's usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the patch. Force of habit, I guess. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh? From what? Their loving families? Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the Plague Dam. Must be some Mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh, no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. Filthy, lousy, sadistic... <laughs> Oops. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. <sighs> I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. 
What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes are the best. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she... made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. What the? Oh, wow. This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. My mother never would have allowed this. That must have been danger. I was smelling. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? Mm. Wow. Oh, you really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? Oh, amazing! Oh, that was a good one. Well, this has been fun, but... I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend spoon. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia... That snakes hate I hate to do this to you, big guy, but I've got stuff to do. No time for play right now. Hello again, old friend. Must have been danger. I was smelling. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? <laughs> wow. Oh, you really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it. So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? Oh, amazing. <gasps> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> well. This has been fun, but uh, I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's spoon. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Mm. Seriously, you better let go. <gasps> Not kidding around, Mr. Huggy. I think it won't be much longer now. <sighs> I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters.
Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? Space. Uh-huh. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know, it was getting all trendy, and the tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for, like, ever, but my kit just arrived today, so I've been, like, hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first... <sighs> Collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. That's so cute. Cute? Hmm. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard. But it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? You order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like... I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm, huh. not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader.